Hi, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam, continuing class series of Module 2, Biology for Engineers for uh, uh, Computer Science Stream students. Okay, so this is the syllabus of Module 2, Application of Biomolecules, Carbohydrates in Cellulose Based Water Filters, already covered in my Module 1 class video, uh, Module 2, Part 1 class video. Now, this particular class is for uh, PHA and PLA in Bioplastic Production. Remaining classes will be there continuously, so keep tuned into my YouTube channel. Uh, the course outcome uh, of this particular uh, syllabus is also mentioned here. So please do subscribe, uh, uh, please like the video, please share the video, please click the bell button so that you will get the information as soon as I publish my video classes. The class notes, the PPT converted PDF, the same what I am showing here, its uh, PDF version will be available in the description box. If you click there, a link will be provided there. If you click, you can download it. That is the notes that I have prepared for uh, this particular class. This is my YouTube channel, my intuition 4865. So we are moving to the uh, uh, module 2 that is applications of biomolecules. Again, this is for uh, biology for engineers for the computer science stream students. For other stream students, a separate class video series I am having that is BBOK407. Okay, so question number 2 of module 2. Describe the role of uh, polyhydroxyalkanoids that is PHA and uh, polylactic acid PLA in bioplastic production compare their properties and applications and uh, with a course outcome to revise Bloom's taxonomy level 3 and uh, 10 marks carry in question so answer scheme is also mentioned here introduction 2 marks production process 3 marks comparison of properties 3 marks applications 2 marks okay so move on to the uh, uh, answers Okay, so uh, polyhydroxy alkanoate, introduction to that. Polyhydroxy alkanoate, say a picturization is given, a structure is given, molecular structure is given. No need to buy heart that then just to understand how it uh, looks like, that's why it is given. Polyhydroxy alkanoate, they are, uh, uh, or uh, called as PHA, they are biodegradable plastics. They degrade uh, by microorganisms to, to store uh, carbon and energy. So these microorganisms, they synthesize the polyhydroxyalkanoate when grown in a nutrient rich environment with limited nutrients like the nitrogen. So a common type of PHA polyhydroxyalkanoate is polyhydroxybutyrate PHB which is often used in packaging the materials due to its high biodegradability. Polylactic acid PLA, PLA is another biodegradable plastic but it is derived from uh, renewable resources such as the starch or sugar cane. The, uh, the production uh, process involves uh, fermenting the carbohydrate uh, to produce uh, uh, lactic acid uh, which is then polymerized to uh, polylactic acid. So this bioplastic is commonly used to make biodegradable cups, uh, utensils and various other uh, products. The relevance uh, of uh, why PHA uh, PH and PLA are uh, important uh, as a bioplastic, both PHA and PLA they serve as eco-friendly alternative to, to the normal or the conventional plastics. So they, they break down naturally uh, reducing uh, pollution and uh, contributing to a more suitable environment. So their biodegradability it makes them uh, particularly valuable. Uh, in applications where the traditional plastic uh, they pose significant uh, environmental challenges. The production process uh, of uh, PHA, the production uh, of PHA involves two main steps that is microbial fermentation and uh, the purification or the extraction. In microbial fermentation uh, in which uh, the bacteria such as uh, you know, bacteria which can be used in uh, PHA uh, is uh, Cupria vidius uh, nectar. They are cultivated in the environment and uh, which are rich in nutrient but limited in specific elements like nitrogen. So, nitrogen atmosphere will not work for uh, Cupria vidius uh, nectar. This causes the bacteria to produce and accumulate uh, the polyhydroxyalkanoate granules inside their cells. Uh, for instance, if uh, in a laboratory condition, this uh, Cupria vidius uh, nectar. It can be grown in a sugar solution to produce the PHB. Then second part that is extraction and purification. Once the bacteria have accumulated enough uh, the PHA granules, they are harvested uh, 
uh, and the lysed, a process called uh, lysed, to release the PHA granules. These granules are then purified, then often uh, uh, using uh, by solvent extraction method, and the PHA is separated from the bacteria cell debris and uh, from the other impurities. So this purification process ensures that PHA is suitable for use in various applications. Same way PLA, polylactic acid, it is uh, done by two main steps of fermentation and uh, polymerization. The first step is the fermentation that is carbohydrates are fermenting. Uh, like uh, the first step involves the fermenting uh, uh, carbohydrates like the cornstarch which is using the bacteria such as um, uh, lactobacillus. A species uh, uh, lactobacillus species to produce the lactic acid for example the cornstarch can be fermented by uh, this lactobacillus uh, species bacteria to produce the necessary lactic acid then polymerization the lactic acid produced during the fermentation it is then chemically converted into polylactic acid uh, the, the conversion involves uh, the formation of lactide lactate is a cylindrical form of uh, the lactic acid it is called as dimer uh, that dimer is then polymerized to a high molecular weight polylactic acid using the catalyst so this chemical process it transforms the lactic acid into a suitable bioplastic now the difference is in production so the key difference between the production of pha and pla they lies in their synthesis process only pha is directly produced inside bacteria cell whereas pla is synthesized through a chemical process following the microbial fermentation of the lactic acid in case of PHA, the biopolymer it accumulates within the bacteria, while PLA, the lactic acid is extremely, uh, it is externally polymerized to create the final product from the dimer called the uh, lactide. Then uh, next topic that is comparison of uh, properties. Comparison of properties, first word that is biodegradability. Biodegradability, PHA is highly biodegradable and can break down in, in uh, various environments including the soil, water, uh, due to action of many microorganisms. Example, PHB, uh, which is a type of uh, polyhydroxyalkonide, PHB, it can be degraded naturally in these uh, uh, settings. Uh, in contrast, the PLA, it is primarily biodegradable under industrial composting, uh, uh, composting conditions only, which uh, requires a specific high temperature and humidity. So, PLA, uh, for instance, it degrades effectively in industrial uh, uh, the condition which is maintained compared to PHB. That is the main difference between PHB and PLA in, in towards the degradation. Mechanical properties, if we discuss the PHA uh, polyhydroxyl can, can vary significantly. The mechanical property can vary significantly depending upon the monomer composition. Generally, PHAs are flexible and can uh, range the toughness and the tensile uh, strength. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, PHBV, which is known for uh, their flexibility and is used in the me medical uh, that sutures, stitching uh, threads are made up of PHBV. On the other hand, the polylactic acid, PLA, it is a very strong and rigid material uh, similar to the conventional plastics like uh, uh, PET polyethylene tartalate, but can be it can be brittle also. So PL is commonly used to make the uh, disposable cups uh, applications. Thermal properties, if you see, uh, polyhydroxyalkanes generally have lower melting point and uh, uh, less uh, stable, uh, less thermally stable compared to polylactic acid. Uh, the PHB, uh, for example, uh, one of the PHA, PHB it has a melting point around 175 degrees Celsius. Whereas PLA, polylactic acid has higher melting point uh, approximately 180 degrees Celsius, which provides better thermal stability. So this makes the polylactic acid suitable for application like the 3D printing where higher temperatures are required. Then comes to the next topic, uh, the uh, environmental impact. Environment impact is not mentioned in this slide. I need to mention that the environmental impact of uh, polyhydroxyalkanate is generally lower, especially when it is produced from the waste material. For example, the PHA can be made from agricultural waste, reducing uh, its overall environmental footprint of the agricultural waste. 
whereas PLA production can have higher environmental impact due to the agricultural input required for its feedstock such as the corn. So the cultivation and processing of these crops contributes to PLA's environmental footprint. Now move on to the applications of uh, bioplastics. Uh, polyhydroxyalkylate applications, they are used in a variety of applications because they are biodegradable and uh, flexible. Uh, packaging uh, the polyhydroxybutyrate uh, PHB, one of the PHA, it is used to make biodegradable plastic bags which decompose naturally, reducing the environmental wastage. In medical field, PHBV is utilized for uh, surgical features, uh, the drug delivery systems due to their biocompatibility. Additionally, the PHAs are uh, employed in agriculture for uh, products like biodegradable uh, mulch films and uh, the controlled release of fertilizers uh, which help them uh, minimize the environmental uh, impact while supporting agricultural productivity. Applications of PLA on the other hand, it finds uh, mainly in packaging due to the uh, rigidity and the transparency of a PLA material uh, to used to, to manufacture uh, clear uh, uh, salad containers and other food packaging materials which are both sturdy and uh, compostable. In medical field also PLA is applied in uh, uh, applications such as 3D printing for custom medical implantations uh, where it is biocompatible and uh, biocompatibility are came to the uh, become the crucial point for PLA. Furthermore, the PLA it is used in textiles and uh, fibers to create a biodegradable clothing and other products offering an eco-friendly alternative to the traditional synthetic fibers. For example, the PLA, the PLA fibers are used in making uh, the biodegradable t-shirts contributing to sustainable fashion. Okay, okay that's about uh, PHA and the PLA uh, and their applications. Thank you very much for watching my videos.